Frank, the team's 2-2 two two entering conference play on Friday. Can you talk about the challenges that the Fordham Rams present with their high-powered offense? Well, certainly, uh, you know, to overstate the obvious, they've got uh, probably the, you know, the best talent in the league. Uh, you know, going into the season, you got uh, a full returning group on both sides of the ball. I think on offense, just lost a running back, and so they have as good of receivers as we're going to see all year. Uh, the quarterback is certainly right up there. Uh, no secret about what he was has done and is able to do. I know um, didn't play against us last year, but we're have played against him, so we're well aware of you know what he can do, and uh, you know it's a it's a huge challenge, you know obviously to to go up to their place on a short week, but they're dealing with the same short week that we are, so um, both teams are deal, dealing with that part of it. But uh, we're looking forward to it. It's the first of six league games, and you can't lose sight of that. And and, and one no more important than the other, regardless of you're lining up against the preseason favorite. Obviously, I've heard for a year now, you know, this is we've been on their calendar and everything else. I heard that Saturday night that we were on Wagner's calendar. I, quite frankly, I'm I'm tickled pink that we're that popular, that we're on people's calendar and, and circled for a year in advance. So, um, you know, we understand uh, what we have to do. Uh, we, we face some adversity ourselves now with uh, some injuries. I know all of you can't wait to ask me questions about that, and I can tell you pretty much – all of it is day to day on all the people you're probably going to ask me about, and that's as far as I'm going to go. Um, but uh, we certainly know full well we're preparing right now uh, without some some key people, and uh, we'll see how the week goes. Lake runs the same offense, does everything that we do. There's nothing, you know. You're not, you won't be limited to anything. You know, he's taken a lot of reps. I think the was somewhat undervalued at the time when he took that series and took us down to score against New Hampshire. But that kind of game experience goes a long way. It's very competitive. He's a year older. He was a PG, so this kid's actually a junior by age, and he's got the maturity. And we have full confidence. We aren't. We're not blinking an eye. We know the what ifs here involved. And the other guy, everybody's kind of forgotten about. Uh, who's looked very good in practice the last couple of weeks, uh, running scout team as well when we need him, is Zach Zweizek. So, fortunately, we got next man in. Drew and Blake are both very similar, and they're both great players. I think Blake would start anywhere else if he wasn't behind Drew. And I'm really happy that he actually gets a chance to play now, or that it's sad we've missed Drew, but I have all the confidence in Blake, just as Coach was saying. We know what we're capable of doing. Uh, we've got enough talent on both sides of the ball, and and uh, you know it's exciting to be in this uh, in this spotlight.